In this quick tutorial, I'll show you how to calculate the angular acceleration. Let's say we have an automobile that is traveling at 60 kilometers an hour. They want us to find two things. First, the angular velocity of the 0.35 meter radius wheels, and B, if the automobile accelerates uniformly from 60 kilometers an hour to 80 kilometers an hour in 3.0 seconds, what is the angular acceleration? Starting with A, I'll denote the angular velocity using the Greek letter omega, that's the lowercase omega. And that is equal to the linear velocity, which they tell us in the question to be 60 kilometers an hour. So that I'll represent that as V over the radius. The radius is 0 0.35 meters. Now notice that there is a mismatch in the units. This one's in meters, that's in kilometers per hour. What we need to do is make sure that the velocity is in meters per second. Okay, so make sure that your units always are in meters per second when you're doing this calculation. Let's do a quick conversion. We have 60 kilometers per every one hour. And I'll multiply this by a factor of one hour makes how many seconds? I know it makes 60 minutes. 60 times 60 is 3,600 seconds. Okay, so this unit and that unit will cancel out. Now we have kilometers per second. Let's convert this kilometer unit into meters. So one kilometer at the bottom and 1,000 meters at the top will accomplish just that. So kilometers and kilometers cancel out. 60 times 1,000 is 60,000 divided by 3,600. So 60,000 divided by 3,600 makes 16.6 .6 repeating. 16 and two-thirds meters per second over the radius of 0 0.35. Now dividing these two numbers out, the meters unit will cancel out. So we should end up with units that is one over seconds. I know that's kind of strange, but let me show you. So taking this number that's on our screen, divide that by 0 0.35 makes 47.62 rounded, 47.62, no units at the top per one second. So that's one second. Another way you can represent angular velocity is by writing down radians per one second. It's really up to you. In fact, by representing it as radians per one second, it actually gives the reader more understanding of what this means. Remember what radians is. It's the arc length divided by the radius of a circle. So when the reader reads this, it sort of gives it a clearer meaning. So with question B, if the automobile accelerates uniformly from 60 kilometers an hour to 80, so that is final velocity, initial velocity. In 3.0 seconds, what is the angular acceleration? Much the same way as we did with A, we will calculate angular acceleration. I'll represent it as alpha. That's equal to the acceleration over the radius. To find the acceleration of anything, you take the difference in the velocity and you divide it by the time. So taking the difference between 80 and 60, or VF minus V initial, 80 minus 60 makes 20 kilometers per hour. Okay, so that is going to be delta V over time. This value right here is delta V. Next, what I will do is convert 20 kilometers per hour into meters per second so that when I divide by 3.0, the units are matching. So 20 kilometers per one hour, we have one kilometer makes 1,000 meters. Same conversion as before, and the units will cancel out for kilometers, and one hour makes 60, or 3,600 seconds. The hour unit cancels, and we'll take that value and divide it by the time, right? Look at this formula right here. 20 times 1,000 divided by 3,600 and that gives us 5.5 repeating. Divide that by 3 seconds and we end up with 1.851 as our acceleration. 
1.85 meters per second squared. Of course, when you divide the units that were in meters per second by seconds, you'll end up with seconds squared at the bottom. We take this value now, 1.85 meters per second squared, and divide it by the radius being 0 0.35 meters. Dividing this out should cancel out the meters units, leaving you with radians per second squared, or simply per second squared. 1.85 divided by 0 0.35 makes roughly 5.3 per second squared, or like I said, radians per second squared. And there you have it. Now you know how to calculate the angular acceleration.